Hello everyone, I'm Arcanjo and today I bring you a game that really, oh my god, it's making me crazy right now. <laughs> so, since my video about Castlevania um, getting into NFTs, you know, thanks to Konami, you know, and their great ideas. I've been watching some uh, games similar to Castlevania, like Inspired or Fan Made. Most of them, I really didn't like them because of the... How can I say the mechanic of the sky, uh, of the stairs that you have to like press up? I think that since the first game on Nintendo, I never ever liked that. I don't know. I never understood that. Never. But in any case, yes, because I'm deviating to other things. In any case, this game is called Silver Knights Crusaders, and it's basically inspired in Castlevania, and is around the um, story of Elizabeth Bathory, 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 I don't know exactly what would be the correct pronunciation here. I think everybody already, I mean, not everybody, but I think most people know about the story of Bathory and what happened, you know, it's basically vampire related and, you know, very complicated story, but pretty cool. <laughs> And it's kind of like a mix of reality and fiction, basically. So as you can see, for this game to be inspired in Castlevania, it actually has its own story. I mean, I really don't know if Castlevania ever explored that story, maybe. But in any case, the characters, the main character is Shiva Faulkner. And the other characters that you can play with are Ethan Greyman and also Francis Blood, Blood Rose. So Shiva is la, is a witch. Ethan is like a mercenary or something like that. He goes around, you know, killing stuff. And Francis is the vampire in the group. I mean, they say it's a damp beer. I don't remember if there's something different. I think damp beer is like how they call vampires in other places, you know. But in any case, the thing is that this game is, how can I say, it's like a game, a game in itself, even though it has many things from Castlevania, it's actually pretty original, but, but, my goodness, this, <laughs> oh my goodness, that, this game is pretty frustrating, in my opinion, frustrating in kind of like a, kind of like a good way, it's challenging, yes, I think, kind of like challenging and frustrating, you know, and there are many things that could be done better. Sometimes when you jump, it doesn't take directions or something like that. Maybe it's just me, okay, maybe. But there are the things that it, they really bother me. And one of them is that when you get attacked, you get like thrown <laughs> to the air. Like, I don't know. I remember, I mean, I know sometimes, you know, when you don't know the game, there are many things uh, that you, I could have done in that moment. I mean, I got creative also, yes, I know. But the thing is that was very, was pretty much frustrating. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe it's because I have uh, some time without playing Castlevania. No, I think that's, uh, no, because I was playing, I think it was uh, Harmony Dissonance. Yeah, after many years without playing it, and I was playing pretty smoothly, okay? So <laughs> there are many things that could have been corrected. I don't think they're going to change anything else, but in any case, you know, that's just me saying here. For me, it's like annoying having your vitals on the side, I don't know, it looks kind of, I don't know, like Mega Man or like Contra or something like that. Yes, how you get thrown away sometimes when something hits you. I don't know, it feels like Contra to me. <laughs> but in any case, I don't know, because I'm I'm accustomed to playing Out of Sorrow, which was my favorite. I don't know, they rarely throw you away, you know, like, <laughs> if you play, you'll see. And there's something interesting, and is that it seems that this game can be played on cell phones, on Android. At least when I downloaded the files from their page, it told me how to play on Android. So, kind of interesting. I was just expecting this to be played on a PC. Now I want to talk about some things that, I don't know, for me are like, I don't know. <laughs> kind of like out of this world. For example, um... You have like a boss in every stage. I don't know. I, th I think the system of this game is like classic Castlevania style. And for, for me, that was a little bit strange. I mean, in the stage that I'm, that I'm now, you have like a mini boss, I think, in the middle. And I don't know, pretty difficult where I'm now. 
<laughs> what I'm at now. And oh my god, I have. I don't know if I'm going to add this to the video, but oh my god, when you get to the Cancer Virus boss, oh my gosh, nightmare. At least for me, okay? <laughs> Once you get a costume and you figure out like how the bosses work, is a matter of time. I forgot to say at the beginning that this game was made in Spain. And I think the vo the voices are from people from Mexico. I really don't know. Maybe the group is from many people, but I think it's from Spain. I'm not sure. But it's in Spanish, basically, the original game. And the voices are very good. I really love the voices. Los paladines están en camino al castillo, y el señor Mondragón viene con ellos. Perfecto. Es nuestro invitado más importante y merece la mejor bienvenida. Petsko? Menduko, mi señora. And the songs. Gosh, the songs. At least, you know, for Spanish listeners, the voices are going to be very good. I like them. And speaking about the music, I really love the music. There is a song when you're going to encounter uh, Cancer Virus, the music. I remember I was just talking to myself and saying, oh my God, this song is pretty good. And it reminds me to that genre of music that is very popular in Germany. That is like kind of like a rock and pop. I don't know, it's, just, it's a style at least that I most of the times hear on Germany. And I love it and I was like, oh my gosh, these people know what they're doing. <laughs> maybe, maybe not, who knows, but the thing is that it's very good. I liked it. There are some problems with the audio. I think they didn't uh, make the audio sometimes. One song sometimes it cuts like uh, simple and dry, okay? They don't have transitions. <laughs> but I think that overall this game is actually, you know, it's actually pretty good. Yes, I think I always say pretty good, but this game is good, you know? And being, I think, made by fans and not having anything taken from Castlevania, I think there are some bosses or just the dog. Like the wolf, I think, was taken from Castlevania. I don't know. There are some things here and there. But the majority of things in art and voices are original. And I think there are different modes. I don't remember. Let me see if I can get it here really quick. So they have two other modes of game. The first one is called Free Play. I don't know exactly what is that. And also Bloody Arena. So I think we know exactly what is that. And the modes are unlocked once you finish the story mode. I'm going to continue playing this. I think um, if I didn't get to finish it, I don't know. If I get to finish it, I'm going to upload the whole gameplay. But I think this game is actually pretty cool and it's very original. You know, to have like the Castlevania style for me is very original because it's basically the style. But, you know, even though it has a couple of things, I think uh, it's understandable. But I just want to say this now because I think that um, if you want to play the game just play it it's free basically and you just have to download it and there was no problem for me <laughs> not like the other that I found on you know an epic file and things like that this one you just download it and that's it ah, it comes I don't know exactly I think in the page you have to select English in any case I think you are very intelligent and you can do it <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. Oh, oh yes, and I have to say I liked the design of the characters. I think that was the first thing that attracted me to watch a video that I saw about this game and that's why I'm playing it right now. So there you have it. I liked it. And the girl looks pretty beautiful. I like it. And that's all I have to say for today, guys. So I think we can see each other in another video. I think the next video, maybe, I don't know, for sure, is going to be about a Salomon game. Yes, because I want to. <laughs> and also, because I really didn't have that in mind, um, we are celebrating this year the 30 years of Sailor Moon, which is amazing. It wasn't on purpose that I was playing like Sailor Moon games, as I said in my video. It was because I was searching things about Lodos War and I came across, I was just, I don't know, clicking stuff in, in Wikipedia. So it happened. I came across games on cell phones for Sailor Moon. 
So guys, I think see you in another video. <laughs> Have fun guys. Bye.